Today, we're in Atlanta, Georgia for a box battle of the ages. Our competitor, sports card investor. So many people to thank and know that, like, like you said, this is, this is only the beginning. Welcome back to Card Talk. Thousands of people. Collections, card shops, and collectors. 47.5, you're, you're good to go. All right, man. <laughs> a lot of time ahead and a lot of opportunity to, to, to make this place special every day, so. All right, what's going on, YouTube? Card Collects 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. Today, we are back with another box battle with the man himself, Jeff Wilson, sports card investor. I'm excited about this one, Ryan. It's awesome to have you down here in Atlanta, and uh, let's pull some fire, man. Appreciate you having us. This is, uh, this is gonna be one I've been looking forward to for a while, but this is not our first experience together. We've actually done a box battle before here in Atlanta at Culture Collision, I believe about a year and a half yeah. ago. How did that turn out? Not so good. We got a, we busted open some select football and we didn't get a whole lot out of it. So hopefully the luck today will be a little bit different, Ryan. And uh, I feel like we're gonna pull some good stuff. I hope so. So we are gonna rip two boxes of collegiate national treasures. Uh, I figured it made the most sense. You are a massive Gators fan. I am, yes. I'm a massive Ohio State fan. Yes. I just, I feel like this made the most sense. It's a nice newer product. Yeah. So figured this would be a good product to rip. I love ripping the college football products. As a collector, these are awesome. They're much more affordable than the you know actual NFL national treasures and that type of stuff. But you get cool patches, on-card autos. There's a lot of really neat cards in here. And I hope I pull my boy Damian Pierce, the awesome running back now for the Texans. And of course, a great guy at the at University of Florida the last few years. Awesome, yeah, I'm hoping for nice Garrett Wilson, Chris Olave, some sort of, like you mentioned, the bull patches. I think yeah. that's what's really neat about the, the National Treasures College stuff is to be able to get some of those bull patches or Nike patches. So yeah. I think this will uh, I think this will be fun. So we're gonna do it a little different than we did with Select when you and I ripped it in Atlanta last time. We're going to do it lowest serial numbered card on the left. Lowest serial number card on the left, okay. So every right. card in these boxes will be numbered, okay. right? So one of 99 will be two of five. Ooh, interesting. All right, so you gotta get you gotta get that low serial number yeah. on the left. Yep, on the okay. left. I think that's what makes it fun is that if the last card's out of 99, you know it's not a win. But yeah. if it's one of 99, yeah. you could still always have a chance to win. Okay, I cool. like it. So let's... Uh, have you ever had a tie before when you've done one of these? No, nope. What Never. if we both pull a one of one, Ryan? Second. You gotta look optimistically here. Second lowest. So two of, whatever your, if we both have a one of one, it's whatever our next lowest number card would be. Interesting. That would be the tiebreaker. All right, that's the tiebreaker. I yep. like it. So. Okay, look at these beautiful boxes. I like the color of these this year. That's This uh, teal is pretty sweet. Yeah, they, they look good. I uh, we actually ripped a case of this on our channel and the first box we had hit a Chris Olave 101 patch nice. auto. So oh, nice. It's always fun to pull PC. Oh, look at that. Look you at don't that. get quite the creaking noise that you used to get on no, some of the old school no, MT. No, no, it's, it's not the wood. Yeah, sure. But uh, it's still a nice look. Yep. Look at the sides of this. Now your, uh, your, your son ripped a box of this. My son ripped a box of this and pulled a Kenny Pickett RPA, which is uh, I get you know I guess the biggest hit in the product yeah, probably sure. uh, to get a Kenny Pickett RPA. Uh, I guess you know if you got the one of one then that's the biggest hit. But but Kenny Pickett's probably the guy that most people are chasing. So uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, very nice. All right, all ready? right. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Should be a base. Oh, oh look at that, Tom Brady, Michigan. Oh, we got two Michigan guys to start, Ryan. We got two Michigan guys to start. I feel like this is a bad sign for you being an Ohio State fan. That can't be a good omen. No, it just, double it just Michigan. It double it, Michigan. I don't think we could have asked for a worse start. <laughs> By the way, look at the difference between how deep the boxes are. So my box, there's so much space here. Your box, the cards are almost busting out. So what this tells me is that you've got at least one booklet, yep. if not two booklets. Yep. I probably don't have a booklet. That's probably the difference between the two. Uh, but that's all right. I, I don't need a booklet if I get some one-on-ones. Mm, you might need one. All right. So what's your what's your? Uh, I, I got fifty-eight on my Brady. I got 40. 40. 40. So you're in an early lead. Early lead. All right. Fifty-eight to forty. But hopefully we beat that. Game is long, so we'll uh, we'll say I'll let you go first. You want to go to the next card? Yep. All right. All right. A Georgia guy, Travon Walker. So that's a that's a good card. Rookie Silhouette Signature 35 is the number on that card. Okay. 
Uh, but that's a good one. That's a good auto patch. Big boy out of Georgia there. Number one pick. Yeah, number yeah. Pick. He's uh, uh, a little surprised that he was the number one pick. You know, people thought he was going to go a little yep. bit, you know, number two or number three or whatever. But he went, he went number one overall to Jacksonville. And um, he's got a lot of upside. A lot of upside for sure. So there you go. Starting with a number one pick, RPA. Pretty good way to go. I think I have a book. I think the first one for me is a book. 10 of 10. 10 of 10. Wow. Okay. John Mechie. Oh, good off receiver. To, yeah. Off to an early lead. Good receiver. Good receiver. Oh, Got, wow. oh that's a nice patch. Too. That's a nice wow. card. That's a really nice card. Very nice. Yeah. John Mechie, patch auto, the bowl logo, 10 of 10. So already off to an early lead. That's a big card. I like that's that. a big card. Yeah, it'll, it's a... Uh, you know, he got injured in college, but some people say that he was actually like the best Alabama receiver, like more than Waddle, more than J more than uh, James Devon uh, Devontae Smith. And Devonta Smith. Devontae Smith. Yep. People were saying like he actually like, but you know, he had some injury issues and that kind of stuff. But um, we'll see. We'll see what he can do in the years ahead. Yep. So not quite the start I'm looking for with Alabama and Michigan, right? Probably two of my least favorite teams. So. Hopefully there's uh, there's some Buckeyes here in the bottom, but we'll we'll, uh, we'll turn it over to you. Next card. All right. Yeah, he missed the national championship game, right? Yeah, he got diagnosed with lymphoma, yeah, I believe. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, had, he's, he's out had, for the entire year, I believe. Yeah, he's had struggles, unfortunately, but but uh, hopefully he gets well and gets back onto the field. All right, so a uh, little throwback here. Jalen Hurt, oh, 61. I thought that said one for a minute. I thought that was one out of 75. It's 61 Ugh. out of 75. Jalen Hurts throwback for the Sooners, but that's a cool card to have. I mean, obviously he's off to a super yeah. hot start, so that's a good one. Yeah, definitely looking good this year. Eagles uh, Eagles have definitely started the year really well. They have. So. All right. See how they finish. Can you beat 10? Oh, I thought it was 10 again. It's 19. Kyron Williams, patch auto, 19 of 99. Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Big game in Columbus earlier this year against the uh, Fighting Irish for the Buckeyes. Yeah. That was a big one for you guys. Yeah, I love beating Notre Dame. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> love, love beating them. So Kyron Williams out of 99. I think, he's, I think he's injured, though, as well. I don't think he's playing much this year. All right, here we go. I got to step it up. I got to get some lower numbers. And it's 42 out of 75. Jeff George. What a fun little throwback. George passes Illinois to first bowl victory in 26 years. That's pretty cool. Uh, 42 out of 75. All right, there you go. Not somebody I expected to see. No, to I didn't, see I didn't this, expect this, to see Jeff George in the product. product. All right, let's see what I got. Mateo Durant. From Duke. 68 of 99. Okay. Another guy I don't probably know as much about. All right, so you're still in the lead with, with number 10. 10. I feel like I can beat that, Ryan. I feel like I could be. Am I going to beat it now? Nope. I got cool. 30 out of 99. 30 out of, oh, Justin Herbert. That's cool. That's very nice. Look at that, Justin Herbert. Wow, that's pretty sweet. A lot of Herbert fans out there for oh, sure. Yeah. Huge Justin Herbert jersey patch. Massive Justin Herbert jersey patch. It's really nice. Number 30 out of 99. That's pretty awesome. Running out of cards. I am running out of cards. I'm running low. 10 of 10 again. We now have two. Tens. Sam Howell. That's a good one. He's, ten of ten. He was a popular quarterback in the draft and yeah. and uh, you know had a good career at North Carolina. Sells fairly well. Yeah. Has some uh, has a little following early. We'll uh, we'll we'll see what. All right. What I got to get into the single digits here. I got to get in the single digits. Kyler Murray, forty five out of seventy five. I'm pulling a lot of these like <laughs> the players right now in the NFL who are you know Kyler. I, I had uh, Jalen Hurts and obviously uh, Herbert. Uh, but still high numbers, yep. 45 out of 75, man. All right. Yeah, a lot of rookies here. Now, I did see this as a cool patch. I didn't see the numbering. Took it off a little early. Matt Corral, that is five oh, of 10. No. Oh, five no. of 10. We now have three cards that would win. Uh, two out of two that are 10, one that is five. Matt Corral, out for the year as well. I've pulled a lot of people that are... Uh, that are injured, we've pulled. By the way, this is this may be the closest I get to a Florida Gator in this product because Matt Corral was committed to the University of Florida. <laughs> yeah. He was going to be our next great quarterback. And, and then we had a coaching change. Dan Mullen came in and actually said, we don't want you anymore. Uh, we want Emory Jones instead. So he, he didn't, he left and went yeah. to, well, he didn't even leave. He never even enrolled, but then he, he committed to Ole Miss and then had a wonderful career at Ole Miss. He was a good quarterback. I hope he does well in the pros. All right, 
Here we go. I got two cards left. I have an oh. Aiden Hutchinson, 27 out of 39. Another Michigan boy, Ryan. I saw the the cut, like the sapphire from afar, and I'm thinking that could be lower numbered. Thankfully, it was not. But yeah, not not a Michigan guy at all. Not even the. Slightest. So if you win this box battle, you're about to win a lot of Michigan yeah. cards. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to move those quickly. But at least they're good guys. I mean, they're, at least they're good they're, players. They're good this, players. This has been a lot of good players yeah. here. Very, yeah, very good box. I have not had quite the names. Now we have a green. I Is mean, that an emerald out of five? I believe so. Oh, geez. This so your could, number's going to get lower? This could get worse. Oh, my gosh. Two of five, Matt Corral. Yeah, two of five. Jer By the way, that's a big card. Jersey number. That is a big card. Rookie RPA. That is a huge card. That is massive. Like, one of the top quarterbacks in the draft. Yep. RPA, on-card auto, number to five. And jersey number. And jersey numbered. That is, a, that is one of the best cards you could possibly get in this product. I'm, I'm content, for sure. That is an amazing card. Yeah, where's he? Uh, he Carolina. Yeah, Carolina Panthers. Would have had a shot to play this year. He probably year would have had, had a shot to play. He not, uh, he probably not would got have had injured. A shot to play. I think PJ Walker's the next guy to start. So, you have one card. Yeah. So what's going to be funny here is when I pull a one on one with my last card, that and would... I beat your two of five, and I beat your numbers to ten, and I win the cards. You ready for me to pull my one on one? No. I'm calling a shot. I'm calling a shot right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm calling a one on one shot. Let's go. No, it's not a one of one. And it even, it hurts me more That's very nice. because Drake London is the guy here in Atlanta. He's the Falcons new star receiver, of course, out of USC. He's off to a good start this season. Rookie of the year potential, maybe, depending on how the season goes for him. But that's his RPA out of 99. That's a card I would love to have. Sadly, I've gotten absolutely demolished in this box battle in terms of the numbering. We got one left, so maybe we'll see if we can rub it in a little bit more. I mean, another stud. 97 out of 99. 97 out of 99. George Pickens. Unfortunately, can't there rub go. it in. But yeah, big, George, big time receiver out of Georgia. Yeah, looks good. Looks to have some chemistry with Pickett early on. We'll we'll see. Not I don't. I think I'd rather have a Drake London. Yeah. Fortunately, I will be able to since I did win well, it again. Thanks, on the thanks road. for thanks for coming down here to my home turf and destroying me in this box battle. Are you sure about that? I'm happy at least I pulled some pretty cool cards. There's a lot of people out there who are going to want some of those patch cards of, of Hertz and Herbert and, and Kyler and, and got a couple of RPAs. So, you know, I think it was pretty good boxes overall. Really, I was going to say the gosh, same thing. Matt, Matt, uh, Matt Corral was amazing. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Definitely some good names, right? We didn't pull as many lesser name rookies. I mean, Pickens, London, Hutchinson, Corral. Like, feel pretty good about the rookies. Feel pretty good about the box. It was, it was fun. You were a great, com a great competitor once again. Appreciate it, Ryan. Yep. But next time, I will take you down. But shout out to Jeff for, uh, for coming on for another box battle. That is all we got for now, guys. See you next time. Peace, guys.